Hello, monsters about it. Did <sighs> Paul, did you just shoot Kairos in the back? Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 12 of my Kairos Fate Weaver campaign where we're attacking a settlement. What settlement? I can't remember what settlement it is. It's not important. It's got a big army in it. That's the important thing. And so we're going to have to take that all on. So already, Kairos and Paul are engaged with the Longmar Riders. We're bringing in the Doom Knights of Zinch we just recruited and Screamers of Zinch to, to join the party. We also have to dodge this goddamn comet thing because uh, it's always about... 45 seconds in, they'll drop that, and it can delete a unit, so just be careful. So, Doom Riders and Screamers coming in to help out. We're going to have to drop a lot of magic on these boys to uh, to kill as many as possible. So we summon in some blue horrors over there. That's going to cause some issues with these guys. There's going to be another rift there. That should kill quite a few Jade Warriors. Knocked out that uh, Celestial Dragon Crossbows. More crossbows down here. We really need to deal with those crossbows. We're pushing up. So you've got the attention of a lot of these uh, missile units thanks to our flyers. And if they can just stay blobbed up, that would be grand. Because then they can be deleted. Little purple sun there. Okay, the pink, pink horrors are in range. We've got our bombardment ability dropping in. So far, so good. All right. Now, we need to knock out this artillery. They've got, like, five units of artillery. Stupid amounts of artillery. So we need to send our flyers to go and deal with those. Having knocked out the Longmar Riders, we need to have to get them over there to deal with that. Although that enemy general is, uh, is, is coming in, apparently. Oh. All right. The Flamers. Oh, no. Watch out for the Longmar Riders. No. Fuck. Get. Piss off. Go on. Bugger off, you stupid fluffy bastards. Kairos just tanking cannonballs to the face. Not a problem. More pink horrors being spawned in. Zinch Firestorm as well. It's all about causing chaos and confusion. So already, a lot of the enemy force... I mean, looking at the numbers here, uh, they, they started off with, like, a, well, a massive advantage on numbers. However, I mean, Paul's killed almost 400. Kairos, 200. I mean, that's looking pretty good so far. Our flyers mopping up the last remnants of Longmar Riders and then sweeping in to take out that artillery to make sure it can't keep doing damage towards us. Doom Riders hanging 10. You'd think they'd be anti-large with their spears, but nope, apparently not. Not even armor-piercing. Just they do, they do have a lot of weapon strength. How much armor-piercing do they have just out of interest? 28 isn't bad. That's not... That's not bad. That is alright. And they are taking out these uh, these artillery units very nicely. Good job there. The Chaos Spawn now entering the city. And the Knights of Zinch coming in from behind. And taking out those missile units. The last few missile units. Thought they were safe behind the barricade. They weren't. The enemy's taken an absolute beating so far. The fuck is that? Literally on fucking CA. Literally fucking unplayable. Or maybe Zinch Corruption. We can't be sure. Chaos Spawn being led by the Soul Grinder. Charging up to mop up the survivors. There's not much left. They're still hanging on. Need to take out that rocket battery, which has been causing us a little bit of pain. So Paul Daniels dropping a spell on that one. 400 kills for him so far, and the Doom Riders have managed to knock out two units of artillery, some peasant horse riders, as well as they're chasing down some Jade Lancers as well. So good work there. The Screamer's coming in to help. Kairos needs to come over here because yet more artillery is setting up another Fire Rain rocket. Ah, oh, just endless fucking artillery. Thank God for all our flyers, that's all I can say. However, the defenders have been well and truly just pulled apart. All of that magic, just absolute bomb. You can see we, we've, they've got less than we have now. Uh oh, Paul, Paul, run, Paul, Paul, run! Taking a little bit of fire there, Paul. There's some, there's some. That's it. 
knock them out with the rift and then get the hell out of there. Oh, now cannonballs. Run, Paul. You've got this. Dodge, weave, do a barrel roll, whatever it takes. Get the hell out of there. Fortunately, it looks like, I think... I think the enemy garrison is starting to... Yeah, there we go. There we go, they're gone. That was a lot trickier than it looks, to be honest. And, uh, oh. F 535 kills. Look at that. Right, we're going to take you. Holy Paul Daniels. 535 kills. Holy shit. Took a lot of damage doing it, but. Good work. Good bloody work. Flying around there, causing all kinds of mayhem, weren't you? Oh, dear. no, 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 Cathay, no, no, what are you doing, Cathay? No, stop it. You absolute fucking lunatics. Right, David Copperfield, you're getting that debris. Uh, uh, let's give you a burning chariot. Burning chariot. Right, we've got Snake Gate under siege. Now, they can bring reinforcements in, but so can we. Next turn, our reinforcements can move in. We can take Snake Gate, and then we have an opening. I don't know. I mean, what's the benefit of having an opening? I don't I don't honestly know. Because we've got, we'll have an opening. Great. I mean, all of our armies will be on that side of the, the fucking bastion at that point, so we don't really need a gate, do we? At that point... Anyway. Uh, hero action success on cultist. Uh, eh. More control. Eh. Don't need that. Fires of change. Eh. Bolts of change. Eh. Upkeep reduction for flamers. Uh, local recruitment capacity could be nice. I guess. I guess we do this. Oh, let's do... Let's, okay, we'll, we'll get more income from settlement and then upkeep reduction. And then pretty much anything else is just nice to have. I think we'll have all the good good skills at that point. Uh, building going on there. Let's get something like that. Yeah, I like the Doom Knights. They were cool. They did very well, didn't they? Like that a lot. Uh, let's get some bird towers. They actually look like bird towers anyway, so good. Yeah, huh? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to build anything here because I can't be sure that it's actually going to be useful. Yeah, I did think you might do that. You're throwing a lot of shit at it, aren't you? Uh, I mean, I could try to do some damage, but I just genuinely don't really care that much. I mean, it looks like they've sacked it. So basically, because I, I, I'll, I'll take them eventually, maybe, but I don't need to worry about it just now. So all they're doing is hurting themselves. Meow. Oh no, where are you? Over there. Oh god, how many armies have you got? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So what happens if we attack a gate from both sides, just out of interest? Because I, I, I'd assume the reinforcements aren't going to come in from, like, our side of the gate, are they? Are they going to come in from the settlement? 
Does it know? Is it like, I don't, what? No, you can't work like that. Uh, fuck it, we're just gonna see. No, do we want, no, uh, let's, oh, it still wears off, yeah? I'll tell you what, let's quick save it and just see how much damage it does. Uh, that's fine, I'll take that. All right. I don't really care about you claiming a soul, not really important. So we only have one level and no garrison, so. So that's fun. Did we lose a unit? Did we lose a unit or? I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind. I'm not that bothered. Oh, you're still down here. Oh, no. Do we have... No. Uh, right. Can we... right, what can we do here? Can we do anything here? What can we do? What can... Wait, hang on a second. Aren't you at war with... You're at... Wait, so you've, you've gone past this city, I would assume. Because that's level four. So you've bypassed that one. You're bypassing the City of Splinters, and you're heading for me. You've, you've literally gone around other targets to get to me. Of course you have. I think the player bias may be... A little bit overtuned. Like, if they're actually just walking around enemy settlements and armies in a desperate attempt to reach you, but at the same time staying away from anything that looks like a threat. They're just going for your settlements. They're not actually interested in attacking your armies. They just want to go and attack your undefended settlements, which are undefended because... Well, I say undefended. I mean, they have a garrison, but you don't have an army down there because you can't afford it. Which is kind of bullshit. I mean, the fact that, uh, to be honest, raising it is probably better. There's no point capturing it, is there? You just may as well raise it. Because if you raise it, then they have to resettle it. At least the, Bast at least the Bastion is like a magic thing. So if we take it, we can just use the winds of magic there. So that's something. And as long as they're doing damage themselves, who gives a shit? I'm gonna abandon this, can I? Fuck it, abandon it. What am I gonna do with it? Nothing. Uh, do I want to do that? Nah, uh, nah, it's fine. We'll keep it. Ah, uh, it's just got so many armies. So many fucking armies. Rigby, you're a specialist. Learn how to do specialist shit. And I could really use more agents. Mostly just to assault fucking Cathay all the fucking time. Do we have a thingy magic here? Oh shit, we do. Uh, what can we use for that? More research. I mean, more research isn't bad. Uh, Zinch corruption in adjacent provinces is probably better. Yep, that's fine. That's so many fucking rockets, though. The locusts of violence. Are you just gonna? Are you just trashing the settlement? Is that all you're doing? You're just basically just trashing your own. I mean, that's fine. I don't. I don't really care. Paul Daniels. Uh, I think we're gonna have to cut because I can't. I can't not have Paul Daniels at this point. I need Paul. Dan I need Paul Daniels. Oh my god. Oh, there's got so much stuff. Now, we could... Of course I can't adopt it in this fucking region. Obviously I can't adopt enough. Why the, why the fuck would I? Okay. Okay. Is 
there no army down there? Can I see down there? Uh, let's find out. Right. Uh, reveal Shroud for... <sighs> reveal Shroud for the Northern Provinces. Okay, there is an army there. Fine. But we have had a new wave of, of peeps. So, what I'm going to do... Is it ambush success chance the same everywhere? Sounds like it. Okay, you come over here. You come over here. We are going to ambush it. We're going to get that one. Are we under siege down here? Not yet. We're just being raided, but give it time. They've literally, they've, they've literally gone past us. They've literally they've gone past enemy settlements to reach us, to go and raid us for no particular reason. At least there's a lot more boys here now. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to ambush, and we're going to hope we don't get spotted, or at least that one of our armies doesn't get spotted. And if they don't get spotted, then hopefully they'll lure in some some guys. That's the dream. Can we do anything else here? Could track army? No. Force war. Do they still have that one over there? Oh, they do. Surprisingly enough. They still have that little settlement down there. Are they, they're not at war with each other, though, are they? No. Not yet, but they don't like each other. So I wonder if we can maybe force a war between the Darkland Orcs and the Northern Provinces. Okay, that may throw a little bit of a spanner in the works. Guess we're going to find out! I keep moving. I keep forgetting about Hypno Toad. He's just—it's just meandering in this direction. I don't need him to. Okay, where are you building that? In Snake Gate. I'll be honest, mate. I don't think it's the best. It's the, it's the best place for it. Stitch has been wounded. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, but we have the great game. Mutagenic energies. Uh, can we do that on you? Ah, Thyrus! Take my place, Feathered Lord! We've got a new... Nope. A new boy in town. Okay, we get... What do you get, then? Do you get anything special? Guess you get gaze of fate. Is that it? Is that what you get? Really? That's kind of. I'm trying to think. What does, does, does the great unclean one get? Anything? No. But I guess his stats are better. Yeah. Oh well. Uh. So. I, Cause. I mean. Okay. So, so in the in the case of the great unclean one, right? He is a big beefy boy, as we saw. He gets some nice effects, which is great. In and and you can beef him up, right? Because obviously your little plague bearer boy is not going to be. He's okay in combat, but he's not going to be great. Whereas the Lord of Change just doesn't seem to get anything that would make him. Like he's he's okay in melee combat, but he's not going to be great, is he? So you're not really going to use him for that. And you don't get anything special, which is a bit weird. I guess we'll spend it in that. All right. Were we spotted? One army was spotted. Okay, because we have the gate, you guys can get through, right? Duly noted. And Stitch was wounded because we've got, like, fucking a bajillion agents hanging around. Uh, they're going for the challenge stone, aren't they? Because it's the only one without walls. No higher power than I. How, much, how much damage are you taking? Doesn't say. Okay, well that's something, I guess. What do I do about this? There's so many fucking armies here. I, I think I'm just going to... Oh, the thing is, this. 
so many fucking agents that I won't be able to stay hidden. I'm just going to try it. I think I need to, because I can't... If I move in any direction, they'll take it. So if I just stay here, I'm hoping I can lure one of them in. I forgot to move Hypnotoad again, didn't I? Someone remind me next turn, move Hypnotoad. Yeah, I thought you might be doing that. Can I be bothered to try and defend? There's so much stuff. Uh, I guess it's worth trying. Uh, um, oh, I, can't, I don't know if I can be bothered. That's the problem. I, I genuinely don't know if I can be asked to fight this. Oh, all right. Uh, okay, well, let's let's make the best of a bad situation. Let's try and kill as many of these buggers as we can. They've got a little Grom over here, which is not ideal, but their main attack is coming from this direction, plus the reinforcements are also coming from this direction, so we have the vast majority of our force positioned here to meet them. Meanwhile, cats are in, and a few scraps are attacking this. Now, Katarin's obviously quite strong. We don't really have anything that can deal with her, so we're just going to have to, I don't know, do our best. Good, good luck, everyone. Obviously, it'd be nice if the garrison had a few more pink horrors. The blue horrors are fine, but... Pink horrors are better. I mean, we do have some Knights of Zinch, which is quite nice. Over here, we are being charged by lots of... They do have a lot of bear cavalry. Like a shit ton of bear cavalry. I'm just a bit like... I'm a bit annoyed that... This army has just fucking marched past a whole bunch of other shit to get to us. Like, at no point have they just... And they're at war with those other factions, so there's no reason that they haven't done it, apart from the fact they're so focused on taking out the player. I was a bit worried about how much the player... I mean, I know, the, I know there's always been player bias, but it seems like they've just cranked it up to 11 or something, because particularly in the Demon Prince campaign and Nurgle... Like, the amount of times that they will sail across the sea to come and have a pop at you. Just, just fucking insane. The Wood Elves are supposed to be fucking passive. Turn three, they'll be on your fucking coast if you're playing the Demon Prince. And the only way to really take them out is to literally sail across the ocean and fuck their tree up. Because otherwise, they'll never stop. You kill one army. Ten turns later, they'll be back. And it's not like you can spare the armies to have a constant defense force. Anyway, that's that's my winch for today. I hope it's not going to, going to be plenty of winches. Anyway, we're, we're finishing off the last few units. There we go. I think this is... I mean, we, we managed to take out that first army, so that's not too bad. Catherine's force obviously killed itself to reach us for whatever fucking reason. And here come the enemy reinforcements. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I don't... I mean, if it was just if it was just Catherine's force, would be okay. But with the reinforcements as well, mm. we do have some towers now up. It's just a shame that these inch towers are garbage. But there we go. Can't have everything, can we? We need to finish off these war bear riders. The sooner they're dead, the better. The general is leading the charge, apparently. Is he on a bear? Of course he is. Obviously. I think the little Grom is almost out of ammo. So that's something. Uh, right, our forces over here are not doing particularly great. I think Catherine's basically bulldozing her way through. And uh, there's not much we can do to stop her, really. We did manage to take out most of her, her forces, though. The Furies did really well taking out uh, quite a few missile units. 
We can bring them in to mop up this. So that's fine. So, I mean, dealing with Katarin's basically the main problem, but I don't think we're going to win this fight. So may as well just do as much damage as possible. I mean, we've taken out Katarin's army. Katarin's army's fucking dead. That's gone. They're out of there. They, you know, that they, they, they only got one stack left. Here comes the reinforcements. Oh, they got Griffin Legion, Streltsy, Warbear, of course, Warbear Riders, obviously. Uh, another little Grom, some heavy war sleds. Yeah, it's going to be really tough for us to stop. But we will do our best. If we can kill the enemy general, that would be good as well, because he's level 12, so... I'm fairly sure the AI can probably recruit lords at advanced levels. I just get the sneaky suspicion that's something they can do. We're just going to... Catherine's doing her own thing. We're just going to ignore her. So if we can take out that general, that would be good. I mean, he's exhausted. They've marched to get here, which means they're all tired. Which means they should take even more damage. So that's good. Zargard moving up. Here's uh, a lot less Streltsy. We're going to do some uh, more spells. Drop them on their heads. Yes, that's a Searing Doom. It's actually very effective. Which is nice. Now we've got this big blob here. And I'm going to wait until they just move up a little bit more. And then we shall drop hellfire upon their heads. Mark my words. Catherine is currently chomping her way through some Forsaken. She's doing her thing. Look at this big blob of Streltsy and shit. Wouldn't it be a shame if maybe they all died, for example? Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be a shame? Wouldn't it, though, eh? Eat what fire, dickheads. Okay, so looking at numbers, um, they've lost a lot. And we will continue to pour the fire on. The general's almost dead. He's down to like 423 health points. Yeah, all the blue fire. Come on, just throw it on them. I don't give a shit. Kill, kill as many as possible. I want to see as many of them dead as possible. Litter the ground with their dead. We've actually got more than they have. Weirdly. I don't know how that works, but... They do have a lot of bear cavalry and we've got a lot of blue horrors, so... I mean, you know. That's it. Keep piling it on. Keep them... Just hold them there for as long as possible. And Orwin... Little Orwin... We'll just keep dropping Searing Doom on their stupid Kislevite heads. And basically, that's the plan. Hold them at bay, drop Searing Doom on them. That's... That's how we do it. And it's going to be pretty effective. I mean, he's currently got 78 kills, but look at how densely packed they are. Eighty-eight kills. He's got 4,000 damage value. They've lost a lot. They have managed to break through. I know they've come to choice. So, yeah. The time is running out. And we're running out of army. Got the Arcane Surge there. Trying to give us a little bit of extra bonus. Winds of Magic. Let's try and take out as many of these bastards as possible. We've killed three quarters of their army. That's not bad. Some Forsaken that rallied coming back. Just keep dropping that Searing Doom. Yes, 105 kills. Orwin, what I got. Almost 5k damage value. Holy shit, Orwin. You are, you are doing Zinch's work. And this is probably just as planned anyway, right? This is... Uh, everything is proceeding according to my plan that I have. Definitely. 
Any suggestions? This is not part of my plan. Is also part of my plan. So, no matter what happens, it's all part of my plan. It's good, isn't it? Probably. Keep going, Orwin. 106 kills. Come on, get, get over the 5k damage value. You can do it, buddy. I know. Oh, you killed the enemy general as well. Nice work. <laughs> Holy shit, Orwin. 5,513 damage value. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get another cast off. We've done so much damage to him, but I think I think our demons are finally being overwhelmed. I think Orwin, despite despite his heroic effort, his heroic fucking effort, Orwin, you absolute fucking legends. You've done it. You took so many of them with you. Just as planned. It was worth fighting it. Gave them a bloody nose anyway. And I mean, it's not territory that they're going to particularly like. Did we get the ambush? We did get the ambush. It's not the army. I wanted the one with all the fucking rocket launchers. Because if I can ambush that army, then that'll make me feel a lot better about life. But this, this is fine too. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That is the... Jesus Christ, those flamers are... There's a reason you don't want to let him get anywhere near you. Yikes. Holy crap. Well, okay. Well, they're dead. And uh, the enemy infantry is desperately trying to get away under a deluge of blue fire. Some of the crane gunners did manage to leg it. Uh, the enemy missile units were incinerated. The enemy flyers are being picked off. And, of course, the artillery is getting fucked. Can stuff this harmony up your ass, love. For all I bloody care. I've also decided to bring the reinforcements in over here, but I don't think we're going to need them because, well, I mean, this battle's going to be over pretty quickly. Oh, I need to rename Chi, don't I, to Thyrus the Ber Berg, Ber Berg, Berg, Borg. Who, no, yeah, Borg, maybe. Thyrus the Borg. That was my Swedish. It was not a very good Swedish accent. It was atrocious. Have you got? You tarted your feathers up. It looks lovely. It's very nice. I don't think I've seen an exalted Lord of Change before. So there we go. Okay, lots. Oh, I love those. Oh, flame is the best thing about Zinch. Fuck me. Those those boys. Fucking glorious. Absolutely fucking glorious. Flamers. Oh. Fucking love them. I also love ambushing Cathay. Ah, that was therapeutic. All you behold. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, you no. Nope, nope. I've got look. I've got enough trouble. Right. Okay. We are losing money. Demonic frenzy, faction destroy, blah blah blah. We've assaulted you, which is good. I mean, we could. Can we give that back to ourselves? No. If those guys take it, we could give it back to ourselves. So, hope for that, I guess? Let's hope for that. Wow, we've got a lot of boys all over there. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, interesting. Can we take all of them at the same time? That's what she said. 
I, it, I think I, I think at least the Lords of Change were a greater arcane conduit, right? That would make sense. You're basically a magic army, for fuck's sake. Like, even if, it, even if it was like an upgrade, you get arcane conduit and then you can get greater arcane conduit. That would make sense, surely. Just something. To be honest, the Exalted Lords of Change just seem like Worse iridescent horrors? That's what they're called, isn't it? They're just iridescent horrors, right? Yeah. Are they? Oh, dang, it's Rigby. Who's the... Oh, wait, no. What's the... What the... Uh, hang on. What are you called? Herald of Zinch. They just seem like worse Heralds of Zinch because the Heralds of Zinch have a missile attack and they also have an ability. And the stats aren't quite as good, but... To be honest, you don't really want to be throwing your Lord of Change into melee combat all that much, do you? Do you? Asking for a friend? I don't know. I'm not wowed. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay, well, let's get magical reserves. Wait, does that actually help us? No, it doesn't really. Uh, okay, let's get final transmutation and that one. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I did think it might. I did think it might. Uh, right, we're going to spread corruption. Are we going to come down here and attack all these guys? That does seem very ballsy. And the, basically, we're going to take on everyone. Are we going to do that? I mean, I could teleport. I feel like we are. Do you see? We're going to come down here, and we're just going to pick a fight with everyone at the same time. Like ev Everyone's going to come and join in, and fuck the consequences. It says close to feet. There's several stacks. Uh, 210, 247. They're not going to come right away. Get the settlement garrison. Is settlement garrison coming right away? I and mean, we could lightning strike, but I kind of want to take them all out at the same time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay, big fights. Lots of reinforcements pouring onto the field from every direction. Ours is going to come on first. Uh, we have... I think that's... No, that's not the garrison. That's something else. They're, or is it the garrison? Well, they're coming in from that side anyway. They don't have any artillery apart from the sky junk. Over here we've got uh, artillery. And over there artillery. So my plan is... We're going to take out this little force. And then we're going to reposition our units to take on these two groups of reinforcements because these guys have artillery so we knock out the artillery and then these guys will come in as well but they don't have any artillery apart from their sky junk so they'll, they'll have to walk across the battlefield to reach us at which point we hopefully dealt with those guys and then we can you know mop up Okay, our reinforcements are on the battlefield and they are racing over to the other side to set up defensive formations on these, uh, I guess they're fe paddy fields? Just fields? Whatever. Anyway, these raised terraces. Meanwhile, uh, the, the initial enemy army is, is being surprisingly tanky. Like, they're losing decisively, and yet they seem pretty chill about it. Other 19. What the fuck is other 19? Lord nearby. Well, I'm, I have real difficulty killing lords. I need to get a burning chariot to set their heads on fire. Like, they just, they just don't really... I can't really do much about it. Has she got two cloaks on? What the fuck has she got two cloaks on? Did she... Did she accidentally forget she'd put a cloak on already and was in a hurry to get dressed or something? I mean, I've been there, don't get me wrong. Okay, 
Okay, the re reinforcements have arrived a little bit earlier than I would have liked. Uh, we've got a burning head to incinerate some of the enemy missile units. But uh, more still needs to be done. We need to take out that artillery as well. So our flyers are now moving over to engage. Take out those cannons. And I forgot to turn my flamers. I turned them off because I didn't want them wasting their ammunition. And I forgot to turn their flames back on. Oops. Uh, so, and I'm not paying attention because there's... I'm, at the moment I'm going, why the fuck are these guys running away? Finally. Finally. When they're almost dead, they start running away. Fuck's sake. Okay, we've got rockets raining down on little heads. That's uh, that's not great, but the enemy artillery has been dealt with. Use some magic to knock out some of these units over here. And our flamers are... Okay. I mean, the peasant horsemen seem to be struggling as well. So there is that. I mean, maybe giving these guys weapon strength isn't a bad idea. I mean, their weapon strength is 46, plus they've got armor-piercing... Well, a few units that actually seem to have armor-piercing weapon strength anyway. Oh, oh, I probably didn't want to set fire to myself. That's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, those peasant boys are running away. Excellent. We can move our flamers up to help out against this little blob over here. Meanwhile, we have our fast-moving units arriving to back up Kairos and Paul Daniels. Also, we need to knock up these, finish off these longbar riders because they're being a pain in the ass. So our doom, doom knights of Zinch are hoping to mop them up. We've got a little uh, a reinforcement group coming in here. They've got a Sky Lantern and some artillery. So we will take that out. Because I don't like being shot at by artillery. More reinforcements coming in from the rear. But they're going to take their while to get to us. So we can concentrate on finishing off the survivors over here. And then we can go back and deal with them. Flamers lining up. Oh, yes. My glorious flamey boys. Uh, we might lose one of these units, though, because I'm not paying attention to the crossbows over there. But never mind, it's fine. Spawned in some blue horrors to cause mayhem. Seems to be working. And we need to get our flyers over here to mop up this artillery. Come on, get over there, finish it off. I need to get my knights up here as well. And these Longmar riders are continuing to be a massive pain in the ass. And we need to reposition our forces to deal with the incoming enemy reinforcements. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, so much shooty fire. But there's another unit of archers, crossbows, and my, my, oh, no, my flamers. My flamers, no. They're going to, they're going to crumble. They're going to crumble. Ah, oh, bugger. Almost, but not... Yeah, there they go. They're crumbling away. Okay, our forces have repositioned. So we've got pink horrors and then defended by blue horrors in the front. Our Chaos Spawn currently mopping up the last... Sort of like the, the initial army. So we need to keep doing that. Our Doom Knights, Knights of Zinch. All coming in to attack the second group of reinforcements. Looks like they have been dealt with. Just that Sky Lantern to pick off. And the Flamers... Don't think they have anything left here. We're finishing off them. That's good. Oh, they do have a unit of Peasant Long Spearmen. Who apparently are now charging towards us at high speed. I don't know why. It looks like they're, not, it looks like they're going for the Flamers. They're going for the flame. They're, they're charging straight towards the flamers. That is... Um, I'll be honest, lads. I don't fancy your chances, but good on you for trying. That's all I can say. Well, they tried. That's, uh... Yep. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's another unit deleted, and we're now pouring fire on anything coming anywhere near us. We do need to take out that Sky Junk, but I'm going to send Kairos and Paul Daniels to finish that off. Looking at numbers here, they threw 3,000 at us, and it just wasn't enough. Look at these poor Celestial Dragon Guard trying to advance under a hail of fire. 
I mean, they're actually not doing too badly. They're doing better than I thought they would have. Still not good enough as we take out that sky junk. They only have a few units left. Including a fucking terracotta sentinel, of course they do. Never mind. It's a terracotta sentinel, a compass, and some celestial dragon crossbowmen versus two entire stacks. They're not going to last very long. Well, we lost a unit of Flamers and a unit of Screamers. But apart from that, I mean, we killed a, a lot of guys. A lot of guys. Let's take the replenishment there. And you're dead, aren't you? Because you are marching. Did you even join the fight? You might not have. I don't think you did. Can we attack the city? Holy shit, we can. They will get reinforcements, but that's going to be coming in from behind us. Which is actually... F well, do we get decisive victory if we do that. But we can easily, like, take the city, and then when they turn up in three minutes, use the city defences against them. Let's do that! But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.